Hi everyone, I wanted to share some of the spiritual, metaphysical style books that I've been reading right now or that are on my list and I'm about to start reading. Um, <laughs> Vincent is awake and playing as you can see, so you'll probably hear him during this video. Um, I actually, I take a metaphysical series of classes by a top by Noreen McDonald who I've talked about in previous videos and we're still working on an interview guys. Um, but anyhow, I take metaphysical classes that she offers in our area, and we actually just finished reading The Seven Spiritual Laws of Success by Deepak Chopra. Um, I enjoyed the book. I, I don't agree with his viewpoint on karma, but I do agree with his viewpoint on dharma. So I found that to be really interesting, and I thought a lot of what um, he's he was talking about incorporating into our lives he explained um, clearly succinctly it's not a long read um, I just I have notes all over it from um, my class assignments etc um, it's like a hundred and twelve pages that you end up reading um, so it's not that long it's clear and concise um, hold on I just need to check on him hey, Bob. Um, so it's a good read. I Like I said, don't agree with everything, but it was an interesting and a good read. And I enjoyed doing um, some of the exercises in a class situation. That was a lot of fun. So I still have, a, I still have like the last two pages to read. I'm not, you know, stressing out about it. I really, my time to read has drastically, probably about 90% reduced from what I was able to read before I had Vincent. So I have to make my time count and so I don't get a chance to read a lot of things and it has to really, really pull me in for me to enjoy reading it. I'm currently reading The Dance of Anger by Harriet Lerner. Um, I started it several times and I haven't really gotten past page 21 yet. <laughs> But it looks like it's going to be an interesting read and kind of give me some understanding of uh, interactions in relationships between people and how as women we can open up to a healthier uh, release of our anger so we're not holding it within. Two books that I am, um, actually three books that I'm absolutely loving right now. Uh, Mysteries of the Dark Moon by Demetra George. This is an incredible book. Um, and I am really, really enjoying it. Um, I'm learning a lot. It's a refresher of a lot of things as well. And, you know, don't necessarily agree with everything that she says sometimes, but I am really enjoying this refresher course in the Dark Moon. And I think it's a really valuable um, book to have as a pagan person and as someone who honors the moon cycles and finds them really um, fulfilling to observe you know, each cycle of the moon. Um, and I feel like this is the 16th today of January. I feel like last night's full moon in a lot of ways actually felt like a dark moon to me, which I found really interesting. So if you guys had that experience too, definitely let me know about it because it was quite, it was a really interesting full moon in Cancer. It was very intriguing to experience. But anyhow, Mysteries of the Dark Moon, I absolutely love this book. It's definitely worth the purchase. Um, the other book, which I briefly mentioned in my uh, Dark Fairy Tale Tarot review. <laughs> Sorry, he just cracks me up. He's very active right now. He's a lot of, Vincent's having a lot of fun, and he's a lot of fun to be with right now. <laughs> Ten months is a really great age. Anyhow, uh, Fairy Tale Rituals by Kenny Klein. This is a really, really interesting read. And um, he, Kenny Klein really comes from like a, a coven practicing tradition and so a lot of his rituals are set up so you can do it solitary or as a coven. Um, there's a few of his rituals that I definitely want to incorporate into my own practice in my own way. I wouldn't, you know, I don't, I don't do other people's rituals verbatim or anything like that. It just doesn't feel authentic to me. But I'm more enjoying the in-depth look at um, the fairy tales and the mythology behind them 
and his kind of reconstruction of them for the purpose of ritual. And if you're new to ritual and drawn to um, the shadow side, shadow work, etc., this is a really great book to kind of get your creative juices flowing with ritual. So I like this. Um, I definitely am not, I don't practice my ritual like he does, but I think it's an interesting and intriguing look. And I love the way he weaves the mythology and the fairy tales into ritual in a proactive way. But he also examines the going back before Grimm. He really incorporates kind of like the Grimm fairy tales, but he takes it back farther. So you can see the way that the fairy tales were meant to be before they were kind of bastardized for public consumption, etc. So that is definitely a great read, Fairy Tale Rituals by Kenny Klein. I'm really enjoying that. And it's another book you can take your time with, which is really great for me because I often just get to read for like five or ten minutes now, and then I have to put the book down and walk away and come back much later. So it's nice that both Fairy Tale Rituals and Mysteries of the Dark Moon, I can do that, and I, I'm able to step back into the book very easily. The other book I'm reading right now, and this is for my metaphysical class, but I really, really like this one, is Pam Grout's E Squared, Nine Do-It-Yourself Energy Experiments That Prove Your Thoughts Create Your Reality. This is a really light, easy read. Um, she has a great sense of humor, and it's a lot of fun, and there are, as the, the cover says, nine, exp excuse me, I'm so tired, sorry. It's so gray out today, and it's, I didn't get much sleep last night, so... Anyhow, there's nine do-it-yourself experiments to help prove to your brain that your thoughts create your reality. So I haven't gotten to the first experiment yet. I'm on page 33, but I'm really enjoying the book, and I am looking forward to reading the entire book. And again, it's not a heavy read. It's really enjoyable. So I'm going to show you a book, two books that I haven't started yet. One of them is spiritual, and one is just a fiction because I do love to read novels as well. So I just had to grab my novel out. Um, the, this book is called Buffalo Woman Comes Singing by Brooke Medicine Eagle. This is a um, spiritual read, and I'm really looking forward to it. There are exercises in it, etc., that I think are going to be really beneficial and really tie into my practice. Hold on one